Hi everyone, welcome to Steel Toe Rookie. Today we're going to talk electrical. Okay, we're here today with the head electrician, which is Adam. He's kind enough to spend some time with us. Uh, Adam, maybe you could tell us how you got started being an electrician. We started off in a Honda Ridgeline, a couple of ladders, two bigger guys in a truck, and uh, next thing you know, we got a crew and uh, we're going. So we started back in 2008 and we've been giving her ever since. What is it that you like most about being an electrician? Uh, I think the most I like about electrician, uh, it changes every day. Uh, you know, back from uh, T12 ballast to lights to LEDs, right. you know, the technology is changing every day. It's so fast, so you always got to stay uh, up and current with everything. You're always studying, you're always learning new things. Right. Now, do you do mostly residential? You do commercial, business? Uh, we do a lot of uh, mining, industrial. Um, we got two guys, that's all they do is uh, residential, but uh, we shoot for a lot of the bigger stuff. And what do you have a preference for? Like, is there. Is it more interesting doing a residential or is it more challenging maybe doing like mining? I never even thought of that. Like doing Yeah, like I'm personally a miner at heart, so I always like going underground and doing that kind of stuff. Right. Work on a lot of uh, drill rigs and whatnot. So I like that. Uh, we've got a couple of churches on the go right now, which is pretty amazing because they've got the lighting going on and it's like boom everywhere. It's crazy. So out of all the different sites that we've been in so far, I consider electrical the most dangerous because it scares me the most. The other things I don't mind really getting my hands in, but I feel like at any point I'm going to get shocked. Uh, we've got circuits shut off, everything's safe right now. Uh, we've got some plugs we're going to install, we're going to install some smoke detectors, uh, we've got some light switches we're going to put in. Uh, basically we'll have Bill just take them out, put them back in and make sure everything's safe and uh, if he's done his job right, we, have, we don't blow anything up, so that's the most important thing. Just make sure the power shut off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If, the, if this was on, it, this green light would go off? Red would go on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you'd have, you wouldn't be able to touch it, first of all, but right. it just shows that it's dead, and okay. that would be the first step I would do if I was doing anything. Then you wanna... That's what we're doing. <laughs> because we really do not want to get electrocuted. And then you wanna strip your wire about uh, half of an inch. Half an inch? Roughly. I'm doing this wrong already, aren't I? Is that half an inch? That's probably not. Yeah, a little bit more? A little bit more than that. So I'm going to assume that you guys can do that a lot faster than I just did. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. So this is connected to every other fire every alarm one, yeah. in this house. Yeah. So if this, if somebody was uh, lit up in here, uh, we got a fire, it's going to ring in the next bedroom, it's going to ring in the hallway, it's going to ring everywhere. Um, it's also looking at CO2, the carbons in the house, everything. Right. Um, these are new style. Uh, before this, you used to have a smoke and a carbon detector, and then you used to have a flasher sitting next to it. So you'd have two physical pieces in this room. Right. Now they've made a three-in-one. Ah. So how many of the fire alarms would you need in the house? Is there a rule for X square footage? Or? Every bedroom. Uh, every common area, if you got it downstairs, usually every stairs. On a typical house, there's anywhere from six to nine on an average house. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, the, oh, I get it. the interconnected one makes obviously a lot more sense. Yes. Safe. We will be safe. I feel like with me doing things, there's so many things that could go wrong. What is a three way switch? What does that mean? Oh man, I wasn't ready for that. And I'm sorry, these are called again? This is going the wrong way. By the hour. So Adam, you before said that the heart of the house is the panel board. Can you explain what you mean? And this is obviously the heart panel board. Every wire in this house comes back to this panel. We've got wires everywhere. If you have electricity in your house, it all comes back to here. It comes back to a breaker. If you turn the breaker off, you have no power. So this is like your heart pumping all the blood to your arteries. You've got your main switch coming in here. Uh, everything comes through here, disconnect, and then you got your main panel up here, which feeds your individual circuits. 
We have these uh, awesome arc fault receptacles. These used to just be in bedrooms. You had to have them in all your bedrooms. Right. Now the new code requirement puts them everywhere in your house, excluding your bathroom and your kitchen. And I'm sorry, why is that important? Uh, it basically gives you another safety cover. It will pick up an arc faster than a normal breaker. Right. So if you have a, a faulty appliance and you don't know about it, you plug it in, it sparks and starts a fire. This would catch it okay. faster. Okay. And dim. And bright and dim. We'd like to thank Avison Electrical for all their help today. And we'll see you next time on Steel Toe Rookie.